We're on. Call the City Council meeting to order for Monday evening, May 11, 2015. Please stand as we salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The President. Councilor Sullivan. I'd like to make a motion to take agenda item 13 out of order and act on the suspension of rules tonight. Second. 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 Motion's been made. The second we take item number 13 out of order and we're suspending the rules and we're going to act on it this evening. All in favor? Opposed? That passes. Mr. Clerk, yeah. item number 13. First, we're going to read a communication, number 17. number 17, that the clerk is going to read first. A communication from Richard Francis, submitting a letter of resignation as Chief of the Fire Department, effective May 9, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. The appointment of Michael F. Williams as Chief of the Brockton Fire Department, effective May 11, 2015. The question council is now is on the confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Yes. Rock. Yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Levin and the Mr. The President. The appointment is confirmed. Councilor Cruz, uh, I'm sorry, Councilor Azak. It gives me great pleasure to make a motion for a reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. Second. second. Motion's been made and seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration. All opposed? Reconsideration fails. Counselors, guests, I'd like to introduce to you our new fire chief, Chief Michael Williams. Good evening, Chief. Good evening, Mr. President. I'd like to thank the counselors for your approval of my appointment here this evening. I know there has always been a strong relationship between the council and the fire department, and I look forward to working with you all to continue that tradition. I'd like to thank Mayor Carpenter for all of his support through this process. I truly appreciate his trust and confidence in me. I'd like to thank all my family and friends and fellow firefighters that are here this evening. All of your extreme support has, been, has meant a great deal to me throughout my career. I'd like to thank newly retired Fire Chief Richard Francis. Chief, you truly went out of your way to prepare me for this new challenge. All of your efforts and extra time spent with me over the past several months were greatly appreciated. And lastly, a very special thank you to my lovely wife, Michelle, and my beautiful daughter, Amanda. Your love and support are the main reasons I'm standing here tonight. As most of you know, to get to this position requires some sacrifices, mainly the hours and hours of study and preparation time. Michelle and Amanda never complained and were always there with so many words of encouragement. So I thank you both for your patience and understanding. I couldn't have gotten here without you. I would like to let everyone know that I am truly humbled and extremely honored to have been chosen to lead the Brockton Fire Department, a fire department that I am not only very proud of, but I also think is one to be considered as the best anywhere. And finally, I'd like to make a promise. I promise that I will work as hard as possible and I will give all I have to this city in this department. Thank you. Very good.
And counselors and guests, uh, as you all know, just to my left is Mr. Williams' family, his wife and his daughter is right there. And to my right is his parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Williams as well. I sold him a Lincoln Town Car some years ago and they still have it. <laughs> but we thank you for being here this evening and I know how, how proud you are of this very, very, very special moment. And I know how Michael is uh, uh, proud of uh, being our next chief and we definitely, definitely look forward to working uh, with you. So at this time, counselors, we're gonna just take a three, four minute recess so we can all say hello to, to our new chief. Frank Colanches, David Liu, Isaiah Callahan, Ryan Quirk, Jose Rodriguez, and Derek Scully. Again, all items will be, all those items will be referred to finance. Go ahead, Mr. Clerk. Uh, the appointment of Robert Miller, 81 Lester Road, is a member of the Cable Advisory Board for a three-year term ending May 2018. Referred to finance. The appointment of Mozart St. Cyr, 104 Tribune Street, Brockton is a member of the Cable Advisory Board for three-year term ending 2018. Referred to finance. The appointment of Reginald Thomas, 161 Kevin Road, Brockton, as a member of the Planning Board for five-year term ending 2020. Referred to finance. We have a hearing petition of Trinity Brockton Phase One Limited Partnership 
Trinity Brockton Four Phase One Limited Partnership for a garage license located at 50 Center Street. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. If there's someone here in favor of this hearing, I would ask that they come forward and state, state their name and address to the clerk, please. To the podium, if somebody's here in favor. Hi, how are you? Good evening. How are you this evening? Good. Uh, Matt Zoller with Trinity Financial Development Project Manager for the Enterprise Center Project. Okay, very good. And you're here for a garage license? Yes, sir. Any presentation that you have to make? Or? Not much more than what's contained in the application. Uh, attached to the application was the garage plan, which is uh, 89 spaces for the residential building of 113 units. Okay. Councilor, so I may add on to that that the fire department has no objections on this petition and that all the paperwork that's necessary is on file in the clerk's office very good thank you mr clerk is there anyone else here in favor of the petition that wants to be heard please come forward and state your name and address uh, uh, at the same time anyone else here all right seeing none i'm going to declare that part of the hearing closed council dinapoli did you have a comment in your uh, award? You know, thank you very much uh, mr president i just want to uh, mention that uh, these are the uh, uh, apartments on on center street and that there's an underground garage there and this what this is what this is and the address is of course 50 center street you know, for underground parking this is still phase one and phase two is uh, is on tact and uh i believe it's uh would you just tell me uh, better than 80 percent rented uh, the current the current phase is about 40 percent occupied from a residential standpoint and over 80 percent pre-leased so we have people in there already which is which is wonderful uh, thank you very much thank you mr president thank you is there anyone here in opposition to this proposal president. please come forward seeing none i declare that part of the hearing closed council sullivan mr president i uh, i, I want if you can give me just a little leeway on this one i, I will allow bit. it counselor yes sir if i could sit too counsel if you don't mind that's fine thank you yep. um sir a few a few years ago you came your trinity financial came before this body relative to financial funding and we approved it, and as a condition of the approval, it was stated explicitly to the council that the Korean War Memorial, the corner of Center and Main, would be at all times, at all times was stated that night, kept up to respect those that it memorialized. It is not kept up. There's debris, there's a fence that's covering it, there's dirt. If you're, if you're on Center Street and you're looking at it, it's really deplorable. So I want to make it clear that I feel that you people have breached that representation to us. And I've mentioned it once to Mayor Carpenter, and it was cleaned up. But for the last six months to eight months to a year, it's deplorable. I'll give you the fact that the winter, but I drove by it today, and it's pitiful. So I will vote against this next week if it's not cleaned up between now and then. Because we were promised it would be, and it's not. Uh, I apologize, Councillor. You don't apologize to me. It's the people, the men and women that died in the Korean War that it's memorializing. So it needs to be taken care of as soon as possible. We have made efforts to, to clean it up where we can. It's very difficult to get in there given the current condition of construction. And I, sh I should mention that we're on track to renovate that in the next month or so and complete the project. So um, that'll- With all due respect though, sir, I drove by it today. There's trash, there's debris, there's broken wood, there's broken metal, there's dirt, there's mulch. It's deplorable. So. I, I can appreciate you trying, but we were promised, this council was promised that it would be kept maintained at all times during construction, not after the fact. So if it could be done between now and then, you'll have my vote. If not, I won't vote for it. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Dubois. Thank you very much. I would just like you to know that my uncle died in Korea, and that memorial is in honor of his service. He was a Brockton resident. So unless that is cleaned up, you're not going to be getting my vote next week either. Thank, thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman. You, council. Any other comments? I would just, if you could, see what you could do to try to rectify the, the issue. Okay. I would appreciate it, okay? Yep. We'll do that. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. I would ask, I, I do have a request, though. Is it possible that you would approve this this evening? And I can I could no. swear to you that that will be taken care of. Uh, we, we do have residents, uh, you know, living in the building. We would like to use the garage uh, as soon as possible. The councilors, as always, when we have these type of hearings, we always vote on the same night that we're having the right. hearing. So my question is going to be a granting this evening, and, and those of that want to be in favor of, then naturally you're in favor of. Those that are in opposition to, then you have a right to be in opposition to. Mr. President, Councilor Sullivan. if we are going to take a vote, and I concur with you as being the president last uh, legislative session, we do vote on it tonight, but I'd like to make it a condition precedent attached to that. So if it's an affirmative vote, it's going to be based upon the fact that between now and then it has to be cleaned. That's in the form of a motion Second. when we get there. 
Motion's been made in, in second that we add, uh, I would call it probably that stipulation to this particular, particular petition. So that being said, then I'm going to take that in, in a form of a separate vote. Of all in favor of that stipulation? Uh, Mr. President. On, on the motion. So on the, does the stipulation imply that um, the license can be then revoked if, if that stipulation is a matter, or is it just to receive the, what's the term of the stipulation, I guess? I think the stipulation was indicated, I think you indicated, Council Sullivan, that, that you were placing that, that you wanted that particular site cleaned up before, um, at a certain date and time, naturally, but, but we were voting on it this evening, where we're going to vote to allow the license based upon the stipulation that it is cleaned up, I believe. The vote is affirmative. Right. That the condition should be attached there too. Okay. All right, councilors, just uh, for a sec couple seconds, let's take a quick recess on this. Council, we're back in uh, session. Mr. President, I'm going to rescind my, uh, my motion on that. Okay, thank you. At this point in time, uh, with that being rescinded, then what I'm going to call for is, is a vote uh, in favor of granting the license is what, is what we're looking for, correct? Questions, questions on granting. Questions on granting um, the license that's Mr. before President, us on, the, on the, the Mr. President. this evening. Councilor DiNapoli. Uh, Mr. Before, President. Councilor DiNapoli has the floor first. Before we, we vote on this, can we... Can I make a motion to postpone this for second for this city council? Motion has been made and seconded to postpone this item. All in favor? Opposed? Roll call vote, if I could, Mr. President. We'll have a uh, roll call vote, Mr. Clerk. Mr. President, on the motion. Post on the motion, Councilor Stewart. I think we want to be careful because we're penalizing the folks who are living there and we're not actually holding. We're not penalizing the developer, and yes, so I are. think what we really want to do is, is to ensure that that will be done, which I'm certain it will be, I, I, and I, not force residents who have nothing to do with this issue to be uh, forced to park on the street, Mr. President. Well, I think if we're postponing it, it would be postponed to the next city council meeting. It's my understanding that people are already living there if I'm not... If there are, and the, right. the timing of this is crucial for us, so... Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, it'd be two weeks would be the postponement, and I think that's ample time to do what you have to do. I don't think anyone's trying to paralyze what's being done there, to be truthful with you. I but can commit to have it uh, rectified this week. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do it tomorrow. Right. Well, right now, the, what's before us is a, there's a vote on the floor, a motion to, to postpone, and, and we're going to take a, you know, it was made in second, and we're going to take a roll call vote on that. Okay? Mr. Clerk. Azak. No. Barnes. No. Cruz. No. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. No. Stadinsky. No. Sullivan. Yes. Five in the affirmative, six in the negative. Motion fails. Motion fails at that point, counselors. So now the question goes back to. Question on granting. Question now is back to granting by a hand vote. All in favor? I'd like a roll call. Roll call, Mr. Clerk. Yes. Councilor Stadinsky. Uh, my concern here is 
not my ward, I'm a ward four council, but the people that are in front of us, are the ones who we want that cleaned up, the people who need to park there are gonna be the victims if they can't park there. And they're renting. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking for a way for us to make a compromise in this and get it done and get the city flowing again. I being a veteran don't like it at all that, that the park's not taken care of. I demand that the company assign anybody every day to go to that location, bring a rake and a shovel, if it needs it, do it. That's how important it is to me, but it's also important that the people who are paying the money to rent there can't get into the park, the parking garage. They, they, they become victims in something they have no control over. I, I understand, I understand the council. Council, hold on, council, council. What you can do is you can vote the license and we'll hold it till he cleans it up. Yep. If he cleans it up tomorrow, then I can issue the license. It's also been brought to my attention that we could, we could vote on the approval of the license, but the license would not be given until we know that that has been totally cleaned up and been done the way that we are stipulating here this evening, which is a fair way as well. So, um, again... Again, we go back to the... Uh, Mr. President, on the motion? Yeah, we're in the middle of a roll call here on a vote. On the, on the hmm? question, Councillor? Uh, question. Uh, just uh, The tenants are living in the, in, the, in the building. Where are they parking right now? Um, so uh, during the day, they can park in the garage, is my understanding. Okay, that's my understanding. So they're using the garage right now. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Mr. President, if Councils, I could just Councils briefly, Sullivan. I think we should take a vote and we'll, and we'll push it and take a vote on it, but I, I, I think what was just stated is, is crystal clear. If it is an affirmative vote tonight, the clerk won't issue the license until the affirmative representation made tonight. And nothing against you, sir, it wasn't you that made a promise to us before, but it's been stated tonight that we're penalizing the people that live there. Well, what about the victims that passed away in Korea and their families that drive by that every day? So if it does pass, because I don't want to hurt those that live there, but I also want to make what's right is right. So right. we should take a vote on it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Continue with the vote, Mr. Clerk. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. <coughs> yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Lemon and affirmative. The license is granted, granted under the mm -hmm. conditions that we've discussed here this evening that have to be met or the license will not be given by the clerk and the clerk works for the city council to make those decisions as well. So we're understandable. We correct? understand. Okay, very good. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, uh, councils. Next item, uh, Mr. Clerk. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 4th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Ordinance Committee for its meeting of May 5th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from Paul Moran resigning from the Planning Board effective April 30th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the Superintendent of Parks <coughs> submitting the approval from the Park Commission's meeting of September 11, 2014 of a donation of two memorial benches for D.W. Field Park. This request was presented by D.W. Field Park Association. All costs associated with these memorial benches including installation would be incurred by the DW Field Park Association. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the superintendent of Park submitting the approval for the Parks Commission meeting of March 11, 2015 for a donation of a memorial bench for the DW Field Golf Course. This request was presented by Dave Moynihan all costs associated with the memorial bench, including the installation, would be incurred by Dave Moynihan. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the executive director of the Park and Authority requesting a transfer from Park and Authority meter reserves, $7,200 personal services part-time salaries, other than overtime, $10,000, to Parking Authority snow removal, $17,200, in order to fund the shortfall in snow removal for fiscal 2015. 2015. 
These expenses were incurred in snow plowing, sanding, snow removal from the city owned and leased lots in the Adams parking garage and represent the total balance outstanding for fiscal 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Application from the CFO relative to the. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the DPW commissioner requesting an appropriation of $2,025,724 in order to expend funds under the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 90, Fiscal 2016, awarded to the City of Brockton for the purpose of the design and construction costs necessary for approved projects, further requesting that the order and authorization designate the DPW Commissioner to carry out the work to be performed under the conditions of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Standard Contract Form. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the Accepted and placed on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 2 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, being ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 2, Article 3, Division 5, Section 2-186, Assisted City Solicitor, and Council, March 23, 2015, refer to the Standing Committee and ordinance. That report is favorable as amended. The question is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment? Opposed? The amendment passes. The question now is on passage to a third reading. As amended, all in favor? Opposed? It goes to a third reading. We have a transfer of $275,000 from the <coughs> Treasurer's Debt Service to Treasurer Tax Collector Medicare Tax. This transfer is necessary to cover the expected shortfall for the remainder of the fiscal year due to cuts to the budget request and because of payroll and overtime costs, which were higher than the Medicare tax budget anticipated. In Council April 27, 2015, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is favorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hayes Hack. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. Yes. Pioneer. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. <coughs> yes. Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven and eight. The order is adopted. Order that in accordance with Chapter 23, Section 30, F, Paragraph 6 of the Revised Ordinances of the City of Brockton, City Council approves the Brockton Water Commission recommended a 30% increase, a 15% water rate increase effective July 1, 2015, and another 15% increase effective July 1, 2016. The increase will address the current needs of the water division, included but not limited to capital projects, mandates and Aquaria contract services, as well as personal services. In Council March 23rd, 2015, refer to the Committee on Finance. That report is unfavorable. The question is on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Hazak. No. Barnes. No. Cruz. No. Annapolis. No. Dubois. No. Pioneer. No. Monaghan. No. Rodriguez. No. Stewart. No. Studinsky. No. Sullivan. No. The order fails of adoption. An ordinance amending Chapter 23 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 23, Section 30, Paragraph F, Line 6, Water Rate Increases. Referred to ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 23, revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 23, Section 30, F, uh, line 6 water rate schedule. Refer to ordinance. An ordinance amended chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton in regards to chapter 40Q of the Mass General Laws. Refer to ordinance and planning. An ordinance amended chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 is hereby amended by amending the zoning district map for various plots in Brockton Assessor's Map 181. Refer to ordinance and planning. Order that the DPW Commissioner is authorized to issue three single family sewer connection total, one to each of the following parcels, ABC Claremont Avenue, following, uh, formerly plots four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, Claremont Ave. Refer to finance. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance of two memorial benches for D.W. Field Golf Course from D.W. Field Park Association to City of Brockton Park Commission. All costs associated with this memorial bench, including installation, will be incurred by D.W. Field Park Association. Referred to finance. Order that the City Council authorize the acceptance of memorial bench for D.W. Field Golf Course from Dave Monahan to City of Brockton Park Commission. 
All costs associated with the memorial bench, including installation, will be incurred by Dave Moynihan. Well, refer to finance. Ordered that the City Council of the City of Brockton petitions the Great and General Court under the provisions of Section 8 of Article 89 of the Amendments to the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for an act as follows. An act authorizing the City of Brockton to impose a local sales tax on certain sales of medical marijuana. I'll refer to finance. An appropriation of $2,025,724 from available funds, Brockton's Chapter 90, Pushment for Fiscal 2016, to Highway Transportation Project Funds, Fiscal 16, Chapter 90 Projects, to provide funding for the purpose of design and construction costs necessary for approved projects. Referred to finance. Transfer of $17,200 from Parking Authority Meter Reserve, $7,200. Personal services, part-time, salaries other than overtime, $10,000. To Parking Authority Snow Removal, $17,200. And order to fund a shortfall in snow, re snow removal for fiscal 2015. Referred to finance. Audit that the restriction that plot 25 AIM Street, containing about 8,500 square feet, as shown in plan number 164 on file in the Office of the Assessors, shall be a non-buildable lot. Councilor Dubois. I just want to make um, a quick point that on number 44 that was just read on the agenda, it doesn't finish the sentence. It says assessor shall be a non-buildable lot, and it doesn't say should be terminated. So there's just a few, I don't think it matters on the agenda, but I just wanted to, just in case. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Council, for bringing that to our, to our attention. That's referred to finance as well. I believe we have um, some late files, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Mr. President, make a motion to uh, accept a late file. Second. Made and seconded to accept a late file. All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk? Which one? Um, that's Council Moynihan. Uh, is that, which one is that one, Councilor? It's from uh, Mr. Malley, the Park Authority. Park Authority for Mr. Malley? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Communication from the Executive Director of the Park Authority requesting a transfer of $2,000 from Park and Authority Personal Services, part time salaries other than overtime, to Park and Authority Purchase of Services Electricity in order to fund the shortfall due to higher than anticipated costs in fiscal 2015. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. And now we have a transfer from Park and Authority Personal Services, part time salaries other than overtime to Park and Authority Purchase of Services, Electricity, in order to fund the shortfall due to higher than anticipated costs for fiscal 2015. And they should be referred to finance. So those are referred to finance. Council, just a correction on my behalf. Item number 44 should be going to real estate, not to finance. That should be going to real estate. Council Stadensky, going yes, to file. Mr. President, uh, I have two late files that I'm going to make a motion to have. Second. Second. Motion Second. been made and seconded to accept two late files. All in favor? Opposed? Mr. Clerk? Okay, here's the veterans first. <clears throat> a communication from the Director of Veterans Services requesting a transfer totaling $9,521 from Veterans Service Purchase of Services, $8,321. Veterans Services Overtime, $1,200 to Veterans Service Goods and Supplies in order to fund the anticipated needs for Brockton veterans for the remainder of fiscal year 2015. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. We have a communication from the CFO relative to the same. And, and those are referred to finance as well, councilors. And we have the order, a transfer of $9,521 from Veterans Services Purchase of Services, $8,321, to Veterans Service Overtime, $1,200, to Veterans Service Goods and Supplies in order to fund the anticipated needs of Brockton veterans for the remainder of fiscal 2015. And that's referred to finance as well. And we have the. Oh, uh, we got the other one here. I'm going to find that one. Oh, okay. We have a communication from the Director of Personnel verifying that based on the current review of the current personnel. Uh, department personnel employee benefits unemployment compensation the appropriation has a surplus of two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars 
<clears throat> we have a communication from the police chief requesting a capital request of $200,000 to cover the first year funding for a three-year shot spotter contract, which would expand the area of coverage an additional four square miles. Communication from the mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws recommending the transfer of $200,000 and a communication from the CFO relative to the same. And that item will also be referred to the Committee on Finance as well. Do we have? Hmm? Now we have the transfer of $200,000 from the Personnel Department, Personnel Employee Benefits, Unemployment Compensation to Police Department Capital Projects in order to pay the first year cost of software, hardware, and installation of the shot spotter system expansion. And that item also will be referred to the Committee on Finance. Are there any other late files to come before us this evening? Councilors, uh, just be, Councilor Barnes, do you have something? Yes, I just want to take a moment of personal privilege, but if this is not the time. Yeah, no, you can. Go right ahead. I just have a couple things before we take our last item. Okay. Um, I just wanted to announce to everyone here and the people at home that this Friday, May 15th, uh, they're ask it's the Bay State Bike Week event again this year, and they're asking folks to meet with their bikes and helmets in, in, in hand or on their head at 7 a.m. at the Bat Station. Uh, right on Commercial Street, and uh, let's see, it's the Bay State Bike and bike week, bike lights, bike bells, ankle <coughs> reflectors, and stickers will be given out. Uh, snacks and coffee will be provided as well. So if anyone wants to participate Do this I? Friday at the Bat Bus Station, 7 a.m. Um, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you Councillor. Um, just a couple of uh, uh, things I just want to make mention. Uh, Councillors, next Monday evening we'll have our finance meeting here in Council Chambers. That's May 18th of 2015. And of course, just Keep in mind for your following week for City Council to get in your calendar, our, our council meeting will move to Tuesday evening, May the 26th, 2015, because Monday will be uh, Memorial Day. Going back into reference to a uh, discussion we had just briefly last week in regards to the budget, uh, when I met with the mayor uh, just briefly last Tuesday in regards to the budget, we did uh, continue having some discussions there, and tomorrow I will be meeting with him again at 11 o'clock in the morning um, to even go into further discussion, but it does look like and hopefully that the budget will be before us on May 22nd, um, no later than that Tuesday council meeting, but I think May 22nd. So I just want you Friday? all to start Friday, May 22nd. So I just want everybody to start planning that our hearings will probably be held the first week in June, which would be June 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'll set the schedule just as soon as I have that um, in, in more of a concrete type of a, a situation. But I just wanted to bring us up to speed to that. Um, we want to get through the budget. Um, as quickly as possible and as early as we can through the month of June, just to let you know um, that. Uh, any other items, uh, Council uh, Dubois? I'd just like everyone at home to remind you that tomorrow is an election day, um, the 12th. Uh, I believe the polls open at 8 a.m., is that correct? 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 a.m. And the vote is going to be on if you would like a casino for Brockton or if you would not. So it's a yes or no, pretty simple vote. And I hope everybody actually votes tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Yes, Council Moynihan. Um, just want to uh, remind everybody I'll be having an award meeting this Wednesday, 7 o'clock at George's Cafe. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Any other? Mr. Clerk, if you would read our last item. Executive session pending Brockton Power litigation strategy. Brockton Power et al. versus City of Brockton et al. United States District Court, docket 112, CR 11047, LTS. Mr. President. Councilor Sullivan. I hereby move that the council go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to pending litigation as an open meeting may have a detrimental effect or impact on the litigating position of the public body. Second. 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 Motions were made and seconded that we're going to go into an executive session. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll on that item? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Block. Yes. Neary. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. Stadinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. And I do want to also read into the minutes a motion has been made to go into executive session to discuss strategy with respect to the pending litigation as an open meeting may have had 
de detrimental effect on the litigation position of the uh, public body. As chair, I state that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigating position of the public body. The motion has been made properly second, and a roll call vote has been, has been taken, and we are going to go into executive session. That's going to end the public part of our meeting. We will not return to the public uh, again this evening. Again, councilors, we're gonna go into our, our council room for the executive session. Thank you, councilors. Meeting adjourned.